We are getting close to 1,000 days since Rothfuss allegedly scammed his own fans, or to be more specific, at the time of recording this video, 835 days since Rothfuss promised to give his most loyal fans a book chapter of his next book in return for donations, or 165 days since he apologized, and since then, nothing has happened. Now, I'm trying my best not to call anyone a scammer, albeit the definition of a scammer is literally someone that makes money by tricking people. So, I'll allow you to make that judgment call. But I think most of you are probably quite aware of this Rothfuss drama that's been ongoing now for three years, but I want to go back and revisit this whole thing in hope of adding some pressure to Patrick Rothfuss, because this whole ordeal just does not sit right with me. So I'll structure this video into four parts. Firstly, just briefly in case Rothfuss watches this video, I will address him personally. Now, secondly, I'll give a brief recap of this whole charity controversy for anyone that's not up to date date. And then thirdly, I will address the apology that he provided. And lastly, I will provide some suggestions on how this whole thing can easily be resolved. And that also means, Rothfuss, if you are watching this, you might only want to watch part one and four. So, dear Patrick Rothfuss, now if you are watching this video, firstly, I want to thank you for everything you've done for the fantasy genre. I mean, you have literally helped thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of people to fall in love with my favorite genre. And as a fantasy not, I just want to thank you for that. Secondly, now I haven't picked up any of your work yet, initially only because of your series was unfinished, but your books are still still firmly on my TBR, and from everything I've heard, I expect to love them. That whenever I pick them up, if I love them, then I will happily recommend them to everyone. Granted, this whole charity thing is settled as well. Now, I can imagine you see me as a hater or troll or someone that's trying to ruin your name, but that is not the case. I respect you as an author, and I expect to love your book someday, but as someone that has a relatively big platform in this tiny niche that's called fantasy, and that probably also has viewers that have probably donated to your campaign and never got what they promised, I feel like I need to speak up. Now, I want to remind you that we are fantasy readers and one of our favorite things in fantasy is a good redemption arc. I mean, there's no reason why you can't have a good redemption arc as well. So please, Rothfuss, just deliver on what you promised. Okay, but you might be wondering what in the world am I referring to and what is this whole charity drama all about? Well, to fully understand this whole drama, you need to understand the charity called World Builders. Now, every single year, Rothfuss would raise money for a charity called World Builders, a charity that has the slogan, Geeks Doing Good. Now, this is an amazing charity that, for example, has donated lots of money to Hive International, which is a charity that focuses on ending poverty, and Rothfuss is heavily involved with World Builders. Now, I'm not fully sure if he's one of the founders of World Builders, or if he's just very passionate about this charity. I do believe he is the founder, but I might be wrong at that point. But what you need to know is that World Builders and Patrick Rothfuss have a very good relationship. Now, back in 2021, Rothfuss was doing a yearly fundraiser, and he had included included some really, really cool stretch goals. For example, one stretch goal was called The Wager at the $333,000 mark, where Rothfuss promised that he would read the full prologue of Doors of Stone, which is book three in the King Killer Chronicles. Now, I looked into this and apparently that prologue only had a couple of new paragraphs in it, since the prologue apparently is repeated elsewhere in this series. Now, I don't know how the prologues worked in the King Killer Chronicles because I haven't read the series yet, but while this is a cool stretch goal, it wasn't anything groundbreaking for the of the series, but the good news is that Rothfuss, he delivered on this promise. Now, as I said, this stretch goal was absolutely destroyed, and at this point, I think Rothfuss probably saw that using his fans' hunger for book three was a really good way to generate donations. So he made a fatal mistake, and he promised fans that he would release a full chapter of book three if another stretch goal was hit. Now, that goal, again, was absolutely smashed, with the fundraising going well above of a million dollars. That is an insane amount of money, especially within this tiny niche called fantasy literature. Now, the promise was that this chapter would come out at the latest in February 2022. And yeah, we're now in March 2024, and we still haven't heard anything about when Rothfuss will deliver on his promise. Now, I know some people might not think too much about this since Rothfuss himself didn't take the money and run, but rather the money went to a good cause. Now, if you are in this camp of thinking, then I just have to tell you, 
this is still messed up. Yes, people were giving to a good cause, but do we really think that Rothfuss would have been able to raise this much money, like more than a million dollars, if he didn't promise to deliver a product or service in return? Obviously not. But in my mind, yes, it's nice that the money goes to a good cause. But no matter what, if you are asking for money and you promise a service in return for that money or that donation, then you have to deliver otherwise you could potentially be seen as a scammer. Now, rather than addressing this whole issue, Rufus, he just stopped communicating with anyone about this for almost two years. I mean, literally nothing was put on his blog or his live streams or anything for almost two years. And guess what? There was no fundraiser for world builders in 2023. I mean, the only reason we can guess why that was the case is that Rothfuss just had to address this missing chapter debacle and rather to address it, he just didn't do a live stream this time around. And I can imagine that this was probably a massive loss for the world builder charity. Just think about it, the year prior, he had raised $1.2 million and in 2023, there was like no money coming from that source. Now we don't know fully yet why he didn't deliver on this promise, but my best guess is that this chapter that he promised probably just doesn't exist. And therefore, Rufus, he couldn't deliver. Now, even if this chapter doesn't exist, which is insane to me, considering it's been 13 years since book two came out, Rufus surely could have written a 500 word or a 2000 word chapter after the live stream had ended. I mean, you are literally an author and most authors are able to write a full chapter in maybe a day, sometimes maybe a week, or if it's really bad, they might take a whole month to write a chapter. But having 13 years since book two came out and then promising to release the chapter for donations, I mean, again, as I said, more than a million dollars and then not deliver at all, is literally insane to me. And one other thing that I do find very controversial that I forgot to mention is that most of you have no idea that I will be trialing having monthly book club Zoom discussions with you guys. Now, if you didn't know, then for around six months, I have had a Viking book club where every month we have been reading one book together. And last month we read Hyperion, which has honestly become one of my all time favorite books. And next month we are reading The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. Now for Hyperion, I tried having a Zoom club discussion and I absolutely loved it. So we will be doing it again. On the 4th of May, so the month after we have been reading The Rage of Dragons, we are gonna have another Zoom Club discussion and you are invited. Also, some of you might be wondering why I'm promoting my Patreon. Did you know that since I created my Patreon, I basically reinvested every single penny I received from my Patreon back into my channel? For example, this video you're watching right now is professionally edited. Yes, I paid someone to do this video. And for the past six months alone, I've spent more than 1,500 US dollars into video editing so I can keep the standard of the videos on my channel high and I can upload more frequently. So if you want to join the book club, get your name in my videos, and help me deliver content on a high quality, then please check out my page down below. All right, let's get back to Patrick Rothfuss, shall we? But let's turn to this third section of this video, which is really why I'm actually making this whole video, and that is Rothfuss's apology. And I'm actually just simply quite angry at this point, and I'm not even a King Killer fan. Now I will insert the apology here so you can listen to it. <sighs> I feel really bad about the chapter. I just, I feel bad about it. Uh, it's it's what I do. I'm like, oh, let's do a thing. I'll do this, cool. But if I'm gonna do it, why don't I do this? And why don't I have a bunch of people and they can record themselves reading it. And it's like, well, I should brush up the text. I should do art. I should get a video editor. Suddenly it's a huge thing. And then I either keep doing that other, or I've wasted all the time and asked favors and it would have been so easy a month after to just do it. I remember saying like, well, I don't just want to throw a wad of text onto my blog. That's boring. Let's do something fun. And so I tried to do something fun and instead it turned into a big thing and it got complicated and it got hard and then various fires in my life, which meant I couldn't keep it going. I couldn't, couldn't put a bow on it. Yeah. I feel bad about it, but yeah, I do want to do it and I'd like to do it sooner rather than later. But now after waiting all this time, you know, and I've half re-edited that chapter, so I just, do I stop re-editing it? Or do I push through on the editing, which turned out to be harder than I thought? Or do I just go back to the old version, I barf it onto the blog? I could have done that a year and a half ago and everybody would have been happy. So instead I've made everybody miserable and then I'm giving them the lame version. So here, y'all in the chat, I know, 
Like, you guys are gracious and understanding. I appreciate you. Mostly because the people who are dicks come in here and they get banned pretty quick. So I don't have to deal with it actively here all the time. But, uh, like, for a while, everybody was upset. And, you know, if I accidentally Google my name, it's all like, Pat Rothfuss defrauds fans or whatever. It's just, it's not a lot of fun to be online anymore. Okay, the man feels bad. Good. The man also apologizes. Also very good. Now, when this apology came out almost six months ago, I fully expected Rothfuss to say the same day or the day after or maybe a week later that he was releasing the chapter on his blog or that the release date would be announced or something. But it's now almost been two and a half years since he promised that chapter or almost 1000 days. And it's almost been six months since Rothfuss apologized and the result of this whole thing is still nothing. Mate, I know you had your mental health issues and I appreciate it, but I do not think that this is a valid reason enough for not just putting the chapter out into the world. And I will tell you why. Since this donation livestream, Rothfuss has published a novella. Yes, it's not the fact that he hasn't been able to do stuff, because how would you explain the narrow road between Desire's novella being published? Now, I know that that novella is actually an old story that has been re-edited, but still, that is one novella that has been published since he promised to deliver a single chapter. Now, also, he has signed a bunch of these novellas because you can buy them online and they are signed. And secondly, Rothfuss is collabing with the Grim Oak Press on making a really beautiful special edition of The Name of the Wind. Now, my question is, why have these two projects taken priority over releasing the chapter that you actually promised to provide? I always try to give authors the benefits of a doubt and hence why I've actually waited so long to make this video. I mean, I was just clinging onto hope that after that apology almost six months ago, something would happen, but it just hasn't and I just don't think it is right. Now, I don't think I can make a massive change, but you guys have given me a platform within this tiny niche called fantasy literature, and I think that this practice needs to be called out. Rufus, deliver on your promise. As I stated in the beginning of this video, people can have redemption arcs, and it is time that you start it on yours. Please come out, tell us what is happening with this chapter. If it's not ready, then at least give us a timeline over when people can expect it. I mean, people donated more than one million dollars to your charity. It is time that you delivered. Now, the reason I think that this also makes me angry is because the whole solution to this is so simple. And here are a couple of ways I think it can be easily resolved. Firstly, Rothfuss, you can release the chapter as it is. Now, it can be a rough draft, and that is fine. What you must know is that loyal fans love seeing a chapter or work that has changed and is in its early stages. I mean, just look at how Brandon Sanderson, he released a prime version of The Way of Kings, which was an alternative version of his famous book, and fans loved it. Now, I actually think that seeing the chapter in a rough state could be very interesting, since when and if book three ever comes out, we can see how you refined it or changed it over time. I promise you, fans will love that. And this way you can literally today get out of this constant drama. Put the chapter out today, you deliver on your promise and fans will be given what they've been waiting for. Now, if you want to do a bigger thing with illustrations and narrators and stuff, okay, that is fine but then at least give us a weekly update and estimated time of delivery. I mean, this way of not communicating with your most loyal fans that have literally given you more than a million dollars is just pure insanity to me. And you are literally destroying your reputation in this community. I beg you, please fix this before it is too late. This will not go away, so please just start communicating. We all make mistakes. Please start taking some steps steps in the right direction. And who knows, I think a lot of people will actually forgive you for everything. And I also think that this is the very least you can do. Now, I want to reiterate that I don't want to make it seem like I don't have an understanding of how mental health can impact people and make stuff like this very hard, but I don't think it's right to use mental health as a reason for not communicating at 
all for almost 1000 days soon. Since you made a promise to deliver a chapter and if I'm being absolutely honest you had 13 years to write this chapter and it doesn't have to be finished so I don't really think that you have a good excuse for not delivering. I also want to reiterate I want to read this series someday and I do expect to love it but I simply cannot pick up this series when the author cannot deliver something so simple to his most loyal fans. Now, if you want a rundown of some other book controversies that have happened in 2024, then you can check out this video. Thank, thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. Now, if you want to support what I do here, then I do have a Patreon. Now, a reason why I created a Patreon was to find a new way to reinvest to the channel because basically since I created my Patreon, I spent around 100% of my earnings to hire an editor to do a couple of videos for me a month. Now, since creating my Patreon, an editor has done more than 20 videos for me on my channel, so it makes a huge difference. Now, if you join my Patreon, you will also get some benefits. For example, you'll get a name in my videos like these guys. You'll also be able to join the exclusive Viking book club where every month we read one book together and you might be the one to put the book forward. This month we're reading this book and next month we're reading this book. You also get to vote on my next read, get access to exclusive videos like a wrap up or even book reviews and so much more. But this is totally voluntary but all support is much appreciated.